recently switched light switch from this motion sensor one, which I found the actual part after I took it out to this rocker switch one because I just think these ones last longer, even though this one lasted about 15 years, which isn't too bad. Um, I just wanted to mention also that I made some comments about wiring since the wiring is a little different. Please disregard that part in the video because I was just, I didn't know what I was talking about. Uh, all I know is like I connected negative the ground terminal correctly, I think. But the other two wires, I wasn't sure about the order. And I really don't know what happens when you mix the order. So uh, I just wanted to add that correction. And anyways, uh, this isn't a tutorial video. This is just a video showing uh, this is the first time I've ever changed a light switch. And I was pretty scared. And my brother had told me, uh, one, make sure it's off on the circuit circuit breaker and number two don't trust that it's just you know off on your circuit breaker breaker just because you turned off this light switch and other switches and it, it didn't turn on uh use a voltage tester or electric tester and make sure the line is has no electricity supplied to it so that's what i did so uh, not a tutorial video video just i thought i'd post it it might help or it might just you know for so just something to watch. Anyways, over and out. Today I'm going to replace this broken light switch. It doesn't work anymore. This light switch is working. And I shut off the electricity th through the circuit breaker. One thing I'm going to do is make sure to close any sink stuff. So that when I take out the screws it doesn't possibly fall into the sink. We don't want that to happen. So first step is removing this. I have my tools here. Screwdrivers, voltage tester some gloves and the light switch. I'm replacing the sensor light switch with the regular paddle switch because these last longer and I really don't care for having it censored. So first step is me removing the screws. You don't really need to see that. And again, I made sure the electric is kind of off because this thing would turn on the bathroom light up here and it's not working anymore. So. I still will use the voltage tester to make sure everything is okay. So first step is removing the screws. These are my tools, some screwdrivers, the thing I'm gonna light switch I'm gonna replace with, some rubber gloves, and a volt tester, voltmeter, voltage tester. First thing I need to do is I need to go to the circuit breaker and turn off uh, circuit breaker for my bathroom lights. There's my circuit breaker and I'm looking for bathroom lights. So here it says bathroom and I can turn it off. So I'm going to try doing that. Hopefully it does what I need it to. Some other ones, it says plugs over here, but I'm going to try turning on bath and I'm going to check to see if the lights turn off. Going back upstairs. So bath didn't work let's try the one above it and the one that says fan too it's annoying thing when they don't label everything well and you're just going through everything trying to figure out what's to turn off and what to turn on Microwave laundry. So I'll come back once I find out which one it is. I'm thinking I'm going to try the convention ones down here. Hopefully it's one of these. A reminder for people working on their homes. When they're going to take apart stuff, uh, it's always a good idea to carry a camera around so you can take pictures um, that way when you need to put things take things apart and put it back together as long as you have your camera pictures you can refer to those so I just want to make a short video about that I'm about to take out my light and I'm going to look at the wires while I'm looking at the wires I'm going to take a picture of it so I got my gloves on I'm ready to take this out so it's just luckily it's just just one screw up here and then screw down here. So these two screws and pull it out. Let me go do that. 
I got the screws off and now I'm going to pull it out so you can see there's black wire sorry black wire black wire and white wire of course this is not the way I wanted it it doesn't look anything like this thing over here so after pulling it out I should check the voltage using the voltmeter voltage meter Try it on this wire. There's nothing. Try over here. It's nothing. Finally, try on here. It's the last spot. Can't see, but it looks like this. And nothing. So hopefully there's no voltage. Next step for me is I'm going to take some pictures just so I remember what everything looks like. So I'm going to use this camera here to take pictures of everything. That way I can refer to it later. And that's it. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I think this is what would be considered the uh, grounding since it's a different color, it's not black black. So I'm going to take that one off first. Pull it out. Um, I'm going to actually cover that for now using electric tape. Suggest using electric tape just because you know, for safety purposes, why not cover it? And then I'm going to take off the other screws and also put electric tape onto there. So again, I'm not a professional and try to do what I could to be as safe as possible following whatever they've recommended on YouTube. some electric tape over here finally I'm going to do the other side it's hard to see Out. Got my replacement here, which I'm going to stick in. Try to use what I can. I should use a wire cutter to make a, the uh, make it easier to come into the screws over here. But I'm just going to use what is available right now. So the good thing is this one says top over here, top, it doesn't say bottom, but this top, I'm going to, forgot to put the tape onto there, but anyways, I'm going to first attach, of course they make it more difficult. <laughs> this, these two black ones have to go on this right side. And this is the ground, which is a different color, which I'm going to put over here on the left-hand side. So there's a little rearrangement that I wanted to avoid. But that's okay. So something like that. These are the two black wires. And then that's the ground over here. Pull it up a little bit. 
So I'm going to start with this one over here and try to, I need some pliers to bend that. See? It'd probably be a better idea to uh, strip it so it's long enough. But there you go. It's in pretty tight. I don't think it's going to move. Let's see. Now I'm going to do the other one. this wire So from the top, I'm going to do this until I get it in, and now I can screw it in. It's pretty snug in there. Finally, I need to do this last piece over the ground, which I'm going to do right now. Sorry, again, this is not a professional working on it. I don't recommend doing this unless you do enough research. And this is not definitely not a tutorial. hooked like that. Can't see too well. I'm going to put it in there. Put it in there like that. And then I'm going to screw it. That's it. Try to gently push everything back in without messing everything up. Not much space here. These wires are really long.
Hmm. It's going to lie like that. Put the screws on. See if the cover fits. Right now it doesn't look like it fits too well. too bad. It sticks out a little bit, but as much as I can do. I'm going to go outside, turn on the circuit breaker, and let's see how it goes. Let's turn on the circuit breaker, and let's work from here, going back inside. So, testing the light switch. Actually, it's already on. It works. Originally, I tested this one, which was untouched, and it works fine. That's the fan. So everything is working right now. Let me go put everything back together and I'm pretty happy. No major, major hang-ups. So I need to tighten this one a little bit more. That's in. this in, screw everything back together. So this is my first time ever doing it. Hopefully I did it okay. Uh, again, I, for safety reasons, I made sure to turn off the circuit breaker. That was the first thing. Second thing was I used the voltmeter on each wire to make sure none of it was hot or live or whatever you call it, I'm not an electrician. And finally, as I was taking off each wire, I was making sure to put some, trying to make sure to put some electrical tape onto a wire. That way uh, I wouldn't complete the circuit if it was, had electrical tape on it. Um, another thing is I'm wearing rubber gloves. That's to protect me just in case. Uh, again, watch as much YouTube as possible. This is not a tutorial. I just, this is the first time I've ever done it and I probably made a bunch of mistakes and you can definitely correct me and that'll possibly help other people. I watch a few YouTube videos and try to get as comfortable as possible. Um, and so, uh, I was pretty stressed out Think about having to do this. The hardest, one of the hardest parts was just finding the circuit 
on the circuit breaker to turn off the, the light switch. Yeah, I thought I did it wrong. Anyways, it's all done. I'll be back later. Again, all the tools I needed. Gloves, pliers, voltage meter, screwdrivers, electrical tape, a phone to take pictures. So I never, I didn't have to go back to my phone, but just having it ready uh, was useful. And that's it. And, the, and a, a new light switch.